Hello there. Today I will guide you through lesson 8 where we're going to code our own virtual pet with Sprite Labs. We are using code.org. This is a lesson 8 in the Express course. All right, let's get started. Here it is. We got our instructions at the top and the first first puzzle is all about testing what they create already. So, let's click okay and take a look into the code. They set up some backdrop, three sprites, they change the size of those sprites, give them some behaviors, and then we got two or three, three more events that happens when the sprites touch each other. So let's try this. I will run the code. You must run first. You cannot drag it right now. Take a look, nothing happens. Let's run it first. Let's drag the food to the dog. Every time we do that, the dog will grow bigger and play a sound. And if I give him a toy, he will spin around. If I click on him, he will stop and bark. And that's kind of the final result at the end of this lesson eight. So let's move forward and code something similar. All right, now we got a blank project when we can create our own sprite, our own pet. So let's start with that. Sprites, make a new sprite. I need one sprite for a pet, another sprite for food that we're going to use. And we can click on the pin to reposition those sprites. Right now they look exactly the same. So let's change that. We can select the costume from this list. So you have a lion, a monkey. All right, so in my case, I got lion and I got some food for my lion and that's all. Now we just need to change the size of my sprite. So sprites, we can set the size of the lion, let's say, let's, or maybe the food, huh? All right, so let's change the size. And take a look, nothing happened because I didn't change this picture here. Which sprite I want to modify? This one. All right. So always remember to change this picture as well to tell the program which sprite you want to change. They didn't say anything about backdrop, but I think we can change that as well. So let's click more and search for more suitable backdrop for our pet. In my case, that's lion. So what should I pick? Not a snow for sure. Something for my lion. Hmm. All right. Maybe I'll place him in the forest. Let's say this one maybe. Done. And now I can select this from the list here. It should appear. If you cannot see it, like in my case, you can always shrink instructions for a moment and then you will be able to see it. All right, so I got my lion here under the tree and we got some food here waiting on the rock. Let's run the program. Okay, that's all in the step number two. Step number three. In this case, we need to code that we'll be able to drag around the food, all right? We'll be able to drag around one of our sprites. So to do that, we need to give this a sprite a certain behavior, right? So the sprites begin. The sprites we're thinking about is the piece of meat here, the steak for the lion. And this will be draggable. So I can drag it around with my mouse. And let's try. I can drag this sprite around. All right. In the next step, we will at an event. So what will happen if my lion get the food? All right, so events. This one is a separate thing. It's not stick together with the main program. This is event only happens when the condition at the top are met. So when my lion touch the stake, what should happen? Let's check. We should change the size of the pet. So the pet is growing bigger and bigger, getting fatter and fatter because we are feeding him. Don't forget to change the picture here as well to match your pet. Let's try. 
And now feed him. Every time I feed him, it's bigger and bigger. Nice. Optionally, you could also add sounds. So when you feed him, every time you feed him, there's a sound as well. You can figure it out by yourself, I hope. All right, what next? We got a food. It's all good. Now we need a toy, a toy for our pet. So we need to create one more sprite. This will be a toy. So what should be a toy for our lion? If you cannot see any interesting costume here, you can go to the group. And from here, you can even draw it yourself if you really want, or you can search in multiple groups. So for my lion, I will pick a football, I think. All right, so here it is. A good ball, done. Now I will be able to back to the code here, the switch, code, costumes, code, costumes, back to the code. And now I can use this new costume we just add. All right, again, you can shrink instructions for a moment. Here it is, this ball. Let's reposition that as well over here. It's quite big, so I will also resize this ball, you know. So let's change the size of that as well to 50, cool. And we got our ball, but we cannot drag it around. So we need to add a similar behavior like we did with the food. So let's set up the behavior of being draggable for the ball as well. All right, so let's try it out. I can drag the ball, I can drag the food. Okay, that's nice. We got only two steps left in this coding puzzle. We're almost there. So. As we, you noticed before, we got a special event. This will trigger when we feed the pet with meat. We need something similar for a toy. So what will happen if I give a ball to my lion? So lion touches ball. What should happen here? We need some kind of behavior for the lion. All right, so we got our lion starts to do something. There are so many behavior to test out, so you can pick whatever you think looks cool, all right? Shrinking, patrolling, spinning left, spinning right. So we can pick something from here. In addition, if you like to play with sounds, you've got speakers available, you can also do that. You can add some sounds as well. So as you can see in the first one, we got play a sound. You can also use that with certain events and then you will be able to choose a sound from a library of sounds. You should be able to see that if you got available speakers. All right, so you can also play a sound in your case. I will keep it simple without sounds this time. All right, let's run. Now I can give him a ball and he start shaking as you can see, wobbling. All right, so that's working. We almost are done. We got a food and toy and a pet. And there's only one more thing we need to code. We need to code some kind of when click behavior to stop the pet from playing with our toy. All right, because now if I give him a ball, he will be shaking all the time we don't want that so i need one more event so when i click on my lion he will stop everything he will stop shaking all right so let's try this run let's try everything we code so far i can feed him he grow bigger every time give him ball he start playing with the ball and start shaking Yes, he will never stop. So I need to click on him. And it doesn't work. What happened? Let's take a look in our code. There's a bug. When I set up this event, I didn't change the picture. See, it's all about the dog, not about the lion. So I need to fix my code. This is all about lion. And try again. Let's give him a ball. He's shaking. Click on the lion. And he stopped doing it. So that's exactly what we need. Three events, three sprites, pet, toy, food, 
And then what happened when pet interact with food, with the toy and we, when we click on him. All right. So that should be it. You should be able to test everything in the final step. Be sure everything's working as you intended. And then we can simply click finish or you can, of course, add even more cool stuff to your program. All right. So consider adding even more interesting interactions for your virtual pet. When you are ready, just click finish and we are done. From here, you can get a link to your project or you can click finish to move to the next lesson. All right. I hope this was helpful. Please consider subscribing to my YouTube channel for more tutorials like this. And I will see you in the next lesson. Bye.